So first, you're really excited. You got your snake. Slow your roll. First, you need to quarantine. What's that? Quarantine? You don't know what that is? Let me enlighten you. Quarantine. What is quarantine and why would you do it? It's all about the animal. You like your animal? You're happy with it? You want it to be happy? Quarantine. Quarantine is a basic setup away from the rest of your collection. So if by some odd chance this snake has something wrong with it or an illness or something, you're not going to get it in the whole collection. It'll save you a boatload of time and money. We all like that, right? If you were looking for anything out of the ordinary, you want to see when it poops, you want to look through that, it's fun. You want to keep it on basic substrate. Basic is paper. Because what you're going to be looking for is when that snake's crawling around and having fun and enjoying its quarantine time, you're going to be looking for mites. Uh, mites typically are on the face, the mouth, the eyes. Um, they're crawling around. You're going to see it on the substrate at certain times. You're going to be looking for those things. You want to keep it in that quarantine for a couple of weeks. You want it to defecate a couple of times. You want it to pee a couple of times. You want to look for mites consistently. It takes about two to three weeks for those mites to be gone if you're treating them. A quarantine time, in my opinion, two weeks. If you don't see anything in two weeks, you're probably not going to. All I'm saying is, is there should be a timeout period in between our house and your house. We all want to have healthy, happy snakes. If you have any major issues, consult a veterinarian. I'm not one of them. If you don't understand exactly what you're looking for, different illnesses, respiratory infections, mites, different stuff like that, consult a vet. They know the best. You can't go to a dog and cat vet. You gotta go to a specialist. You gotta go to an exotic pet vet. Vet, pet. They'll know what to do. All right, buckle your seatbelts, get ready. You understand quarantine? Let's open it up. The snake box, not the snake, just the box that the snake's in. Yeah. Which would probably be a box inside of a box inside of a box because there's the cardboard box, the foam box, and then the actual box. Open all of them. Or it's a bag. <laughs> <laughs> then it's a bag inside of a box inside of a box. So then you open the two boxes and the one bag. One of the key things that you want to do is you don't want to shock the system of the snake. Have you ever been in the shower and run out of hot water and that cold water hits you? It's very uncomfortable. Imagine doing that to your snake. That's what it's like when you rip them out of that controlled temperature box that we ship them in and you put them into their cage right away. It goes from one temperature to another temperature drastically. That's what we want to avoid. We want to do the best we can for and by the animal. And shocking it, not a good idea, boys and girls. All of you people. You want this snake to get comfortable. The last thing you want to do is handle it now. You want it to be established. You want it to be happy. You want it to be healthy. So if you overhandle this, it's going to stress the snake out and it's not going to be a good experience for the snake. So please don't overhandle. Overhandling is different than checking your snake. You need to check your snake. If you were to buy something from a store, you would check to make sure it's what you want, what you got, right? You'd make sure it's the right thing. I know when I go to McDonald's every time I go to McDonald's, uh, it's always the wrong stuff in the bag. So you want to make sure it's the right stuff. You want to make sure you want to sex your snake. You want to make sure you want to look for parasites. You want to look for their mites, anything that is noticeably wrong with the snake before you put it in quarantine. Then you want to quarantine it. You don't want to overhandle it. You want to just leave it go. Let it do its thing. Let it get acclimated to the different smells and sounds and stuff that is in your home or in your facility. And if the snake bites you, it's your fault. And now that brings me to point number three. It is your first 12 to 24 hours with your snake. You're putting it in a quarantine rack or a cage or fill in the blank. What you want is a small, shallow water dish. You also want some sort of hide so they can feel comfortable. And it's just a basic setup, nothing crazy. Just a little bit of uh, craft dimpled paper, 60 pound, a little hide and a little water bowl. This is all you need, guys. So one of the other questions we get all the time is, I have my snake, it's in quarantine. How long do I wait before I try to feed it? There was a time where I would feed him as soon as I got him. I realize that's an, a lot of stress on a snake that's been shipping. What you wanna do is get it 12 to 24 hours. Um, that way the snake is kind of settled in, it understands this is a new home, and now we can feed it. You wanna feed it because that helps it settle in. It's got a fat belly full of food, it's just gonna sit on the heat and relax for a little while, and that's really what we want. If for some reason, when you are offering that meal, that first meal within 12 to 24 hours, and it doesn't eat it, 
you should eat it in front of the snake to show it how to do it. No, seriously, not a big deal. Give it another 12 to 24 hours, heck, even 48 hours, offer it again, so on and so forth. If it doesn't take it again, give it another 48 hours, offer it again. Eventually the snake will eat. If it does not, you need to consult your vet and call the person that you purchased this snake from. Which brings me to the point number four. Quarantine is over. Ah, yes, everybody loves this time. This is when that snake that you have been wanting and drooling over and you finally got and now you've been quarantining it and trying to feed it. You're gonna do that last little check. You wanna sex the snake, you wanna make sure it's the right sex. If you don't know how to sex a snake properly, then you should consult a veterinarian. The last thing you wanna do is, you know, that horrible situation where you didn't properly check the snake out and you wanted a female and three, four years from now, you go to breed this snake and it's a male. That's gonna be a difficult thing to fix at that point. Um, so you wanna do it as early as you can. Make sure you have the right snake. Make sure the snake that you purchased is the one that you wanted to purchase and the right sex. Um, in the case that something is wrong, all good reputable breeders will work with you to figure it out. At that point, it's totally okay to shoot us a text message or an email and say, hey, clean bill of health, we're ready to go. Now you get to put it in its forever home or temporary home until it grows out of it, whatever you want. Something like this is absolutely amazing. I highly recommend this. This has all kinds of hiding spots. It's naturalistic. It, the snake is gonna be super comfortable in something like this. If it doesn't feel happy over in this hide, it's gonna move to another hide. This is a great example, guys. Check this out. Point number five finally there. It's your snake. It's acclimated. It's eating. It's the right sex. It doesn't have any ailments. It's in its forever home. Now you get to have fun. Do the things you want to do. Target train, not target train. Let it bite you. I don't care. You're going to have to cut that at some point. <laughs>